Welcome to the Forest Hill Mansion on Castaneda, Ding and Mai's new listing in beautiful San Francisco. Now the amount of glamour and history in this house is unprecedented and I can't wait to show you. Forest Hill is probably one of the most suburban settings in all of San Francisco. And ironically, it is right smack in the middle of the city. If you look on a map, it is equidistant to every part of San Francisco. We even have a clubhouse here, quite famous actually on Magellan, that was designed by the world famous architect Maybeck. Over the years, plenty of politicians, celebrities, and athletes have lived here. For example, Willie Mays, the famous baseball player. So while you have the suburban ambiance of the neighborhood, you actually have a lot of city conveniences too. It is probably the only suburban part of San Francisco which has its own public transportation station, the Laguna Honda station around the block, which goes straight to downtown. Plus, we are just seconds away from the freeway, so fantastic for commuters. Aside from the convenience factors for commuting, just the schools alone are fantastic. Nearby is Lowell High School, a magnet school in San Francisco, St. Ignatius, and plenty of other options. Okay, not only are we on a corner lot, but the property actually comes with an additional parcel totaling over a quarter of an acre of flat land in San Francisco. Amazing. <laughs> I love this front entryway so much. The elegant stairs, the balustrades, it's enclosed with window panes, and this view of Sutro Towers. But what's even better is the welcoming view you get inside. Follow me. <laughs> Check out this formal foyer. The size of it is fantastic. Ooh, it makes quite an impression for all your guests. Immediately to the right is the formal living room, corner, French doors, soaring ceilings, sun-drenched fireplace with this gorgeous dental detail, sconces, uh, a place to hang out, enjoy, and just entertain your guests. Oh, and of course, my favorite, pocket doors. <laughs> This dining room speaks for itself. Probably fit 10 to 12 people here with views again. Through here, breakfast nook. Could be also be a lounge area, maybe eating area if you want to, it's more casual. And then coming through here is this glorious French country kitchen. Mm, gas range, okay. Double sinks, built-in fridges, counter here for all your needs, your buffets, your breakfast and your breakfast, your kids are doing homework here. Huge pantry to the right. And behind me is the enclosed cabana. And this is the family room lounge area with a hutch. I mean, mm, welcome home. Hands down, this has got to be one of the best backyards in all of San Francisco for a multitude of reasons. The first of which is this enclosed loggia, which is perfect for outdoor dining al fresco, mm, right? 48 inch barbecue to my left. Here, lush landscaping, beautiful brick facade, multiple level tiers up to the semi-circle veranda behind me. Seating area, look at these gorgeous Corinthian columns. This lush landscape with gardens and flowers, a seating area there, and a corner around the corner, which is gonna be perfect for a little bird bath. Probably one of the most special aspects about this house is the fact that there is a, dramatic pause, swimming pool. 
Yes, I've been told that there are only 14 single family homes in all of San Francisco that have a pool. Not confirmed, but the fact of the matter is, this is really rare. Check out how awesome this is. Nice and flat, a huge wall of greenery for privacy. Oh, it's like paradise back here. <laughs> Now for all your guests who have just taken a little dip in the pool, there is a full bath and dressing room cabana right by the pool. Very convenient. And look at these gargantuan arch custom doors. They're almost medieval, really solid. Okay, this yard just keeps going on and on and on. There's so many things about it. For example, what other house in San Francisco, besides having a pool, has a basketball sports court, two garages, four car or more parking, all this flat area in the back, a little canoodling area on the left on this gorgeous bench, and leading right back here straight into the house through the bibliotheque, AKA the library. <laughs> I love the historical detail in this bibliotheque. Check out these metal accoutrements here, the Corinthian column accents on top underneath that baby cupid. And my favorite part is this secret hutch, which is a desk. Back in the day, you would write here in your letters to your secret admirer. <laughs> Once you extend the foyer entryway stairs, look at how gorgeous and open this is. This is the bedroom level. There are three bedrooms here, plus the primary ensuite, which I'll bring you into momentarily. Most homes in San Francisco have tiny rooms, but check out this huge primary ensuite. I mean, there's like double rooms here, an annex zone, a huge walk-in closet, and a spa-like bathroom. You'll never want to leave. I love all the rooms on this level because each of the rooms are on the corner of the house. So you have a panorama of lots of windows. It's completely sun drenched and just so peaceful. Views from almost every room. Now here I'm standing in the lounge area, which could be a great reading room, a library, or maybe a little media zone. But my favorite room is the bonus level upstairs. Follow me. <laughs> This top level is a converted attic space, which looks gorgeous, right? Multiple skylights, a full bathroom, walk-in closet, lounge area here, and a full-on bedroom here with direct views of Sutro Towers. This is just absolutely perfect for boomerang children, teenage hangout zone, or maybe just for guests. The mansion consists of nearly 5,800 square feet of usable living space, which includes this whole downstairs level, kitchenette, wet bar, little dining area, plus a whole family room, rec room zone, and my personal favorite, the cinema room with a widescreen, bathroom, and a side door that's 
private to this particular level, which makes it a perfect setup for a potential in-law unit. Let's face it friends, where else are you gonna find a house like this in San Francisco? That's got the huge square footage, the legacy neighborhood, plenty of amenities, and old world charm. Truly a rare offering, and I'd love to show it to you anytime. So call me for a tour. Until then, take care, bye.